Hi and welcome back to Bike Speeds. So this week we're going to service this Trek Marlin 7. This bike came in because the rider was having trouble with the front brake not releasing. It was a little bit sticky and bindy. So he came in to ask me to do that and said to me at the same time, could I just service the bike as well? So as you can see from these before shots, not a lot wrong with this bike. But you can see here that binding front brake where it just wasn't quite releasing. But other than that, the bike on face value appeared to be in pretty good condition and needed this routine service but we did find one thing with this bike which we addressed at the same time so you can see here the chain hasn't got much stretch in it the chain checker isn't dropping into that chain at all so that's in a good state and doesn't need changing we'll clean that up so we get the bike apart as with any service we just strip it down to various levels depending on the service but in this instance we're going to clean up the mechanical components get those all nice you can see there the cassette not too bad but a little bit grimy so we'll clean that up and we'll also do that with this rear derailleur again you can see it's dirty it's not really in ground you can hear there clearly we've got a noisy bottom bracket i don't think this bike had done many miles judging from the brake pads and the chain and everything else this may have just washed out from the bearings but they are sealed bearings and with a bottom bracket like that you're best just to replace it rather than try fiddling around with the bearings they'll only end up noisy again so we will address the bottom bracket on this one I messaged the customer reported this back to him that clearly needs replacing so out comes the bottom bracket at the same time as the rest of the components are coming off the bike also take the brakes apart because we are dealing with that front brake you can see there's a little bit of debris in here but these aren't too bad they're not oil impregnated they're just very dry so we'll clean those pads up clean these brakes up get them operating perfectly as we do the service so next up we're going to strip this derailleur apart get these components into the ultrasonic cleaner you can see here there was a big build up of debris on the jockey wheels and this just drags your chain down takes away some of your energy riding and the smoothness of the bike you can see there that big clump of dirt you're dragging your chain through that every pedal stroke so that's why we need to clean up the derailleur and the jockey wheels so everything goes into the ultrasonic cleaner now the parts that we are going to clean and then we wash them down with this derailleur it actually has the clutch mechanism you don't have to worry about that in the alt site cleaner that actually has a rubber seal around that to stop any water in grace it is a waterproof part so you don't have to panic about the alt site cleaner getting into that clutch it's it's absolutely fine to go through the alt site cleaner and then we wash down those parts including the chain set we didn't put that through the alt site cleaner because this wasn't an in-depth service it was our routine service as with any service we're going to lubricate all the components so we're using our premium grease on the jockey wheels themselves we just run that round and the centers of that to make sure that that's all nice and smooth and then we'll put that derailleur together so we're using a bit of loctite on the derailleur pivots themselves to make sure that locks off nicely and then we will then lubricate the derailleur itself so first of all i'm going to put a little bit of premium grease on the spring to stop that going rusty to spread that around and then one of our general purpose oils on the pivot points themselves to make those nice and smooth similar process on the axle here general purpose oil on the lever general purpose grease on the shaft and then copper slip on the thread to make sure that's absolutely right we do sell those greases on our website you can buy a pack of five or individually for your refill so they're on our website we'll leave the link in the description below so please do check out our website and now we're cleaning up those pads as well so you can see the bottom ones there i've skimmed those off cleaned them up and they just look like brand new again so they'll be ready to go back on the bike front and back next up i'm going to wash down the frame so we're using our big softy brush again available on our website so we'll wash down the frame with a nice soapy wash clean that frame right up we won't actually polish and ceramic coat this frame because this was just a regular service but this shows you in this video the type of thing we do day in day out with regular servicing we're doing several bikes like this a day and we clean them all up work our way through the bike front to back making sure that everything is mechanically sound and perfect for the rider I also wash the wheels it gives me a chance to check spokes and the integrity of the wheel to make sure that the tires are okay so I wash down the tile walls on these tires as well to make sure they're not damaged and that everything is okay there and then I'm going to sand the surface of the disc rotor these gradually get score marks in them it's what causes you squealing on your brake clean up the inside of that disc before we start to put the wheel back together 
general purpose grease on the hub before the cassette goes back on, torque up the cassette, flip the wheel around, check the torque settings on the rotor bolts themselves. So next up we're going to address this sticky brake. So initially I'm going to get the old lever off, it was lever end on this one. So we did our routine checks to determine where that stickiness was coming from and it was the lever itself. So on goes a new lever, we just clean up the threads on the fitting on the end of the lever there before we pop that back in and then I shall bleed this brake through. So we put the bottle on the bottom, take off the cap and put on our, our filler. You notice there I'm using a green mineral oil, that's so that as I bleed this through the old Shimano oil will come out of the brake system and you can see our green oil there. So I know when it's bled right the way through and has fresh oil in there because I can see from the colour change that I've got that absolutely spot on. So now you can see that brake is operating as it should, releasing correctly, so that's now perfect going forwards. So next up I use our copper grease on the threads of the bottom bracket, aluminium cup, aluminium bottom bracket, and copper slip is right next to that on the galvanic scale, so no issue with corrosion there. So that all goes back together nicely. Torque it up with a left and right hand threaded torque wrench to make sure that the torque setting on that is perfect before we start putting on the chain set, where we also use our copper grease on the threads of the center bolts there. Get that in and then we'll torque those two arms up as well to make sure they're sitting in their perfect position on the bike so that's what we're now doing there so we get that tightened up torque it up although this didn't have a front derailleur i did do that as i'm rebuilding the bike i always traditionally do that with a front chain set get that in its final position so that every adjustment then is correct and in its final place so on goes that rear derailleur pop on a new cable end i do just pop a little bit of grease on the back of the pads very very thin and I don't overdo it because those pistons on these are aluminium and they can actually rust the back of the pads they they seem to get a rust ring on them and they can bind and stick just fine by putting that little bit of grease on there it will stop that issue for me on goes the front wheel so we're really beginning to get there already with this bike so back wheel on chain goes back on you can see that's absolutely spotlessly clean now the entire drivetrain has been cleaned up pop the clutch back on and check the adjustments of that rear derailleur to make sure everything's sitting in the correct place and that it's changing gear nicely. Check the brakes, make sure they're centered on the disc and that there's no binding or rubbing and that are actuating correctly, both front and rear. And then I'll run through the bike with a torque wrench to make sure that all the nuts and bolts are at their correct torque and that this bike is gonna ride without anything coming loose and that everything is absolutely spot on. So. We give a service sheet when we do these bikes and we write all those torque wrench settings down to show what we've done to the bike. But as is so common, saddle on this one, the saddle clamp loose, needed significant tightening up to make sure that's absolutely spot on. So we don't want this rider to be riding rough terrain and his saddle to come loose. So that was a good one in itself to have found on this service. Check the accessories as well. Reinflate the tires, make sure that they're at the correct pressure so both front and rear tires we check that they're at the specified pressure for the bike and then the final touch for us is to use our mint 365 lube on the chain this is a lovely thin oil again you can buy this on our website don't forget the link is in the description below so do just have a little nosy over there maybe place an order if you can we do notice that the website's getting a lot of traffic so thank you very much for that now the final step on this bike is to apply some of our silicon grease on the forks. This stops them from getting corroded down the line. And as you can see, what a huge difference we've made to this bike in just a subtle way with a quick and easy service, sorting out that front brake, sorting out the bottom bracket bearing. Everything's working perfectly on the bike again. Routine service, well worth doing quite regularly on your bikes. And if you do enjoy these videos, we do them every week. Do leave a comment and a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again next week. Thanks very much and bye for now.